on using Google Site Kit for WordPress. So, first of all, about a bit about myself because I've not presented my face for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, so uh, on WordPress.org, I'm actually a translator on the Chinese um, uh, language. Uh, so any plugins that uh, requires English or Chinese translations, I'll do that. Um, I'm also a developer in the sense that I develop web, uh, websites uh, based primarily on WordPress. Uh, also a meetup organizer, working organizer with uh, Shan and uh, John. At work, right? Uh, so at work, I'm actually, my full title is um, this associate consultant uh, for platform optimization at this company called Attribute Data. Uh, what we do is actually to advise clients on how best to integrate different uh, uh, technologies to form the optimal marketing te uh, technology stack for uh, the website in order to achieve their business goals. Okay, so in short, what I do is basically help people to integrate things like Google Analytics on websites or how best to optimize the, the usage as well. Because uh, the clients that I deal with is not uh, SMEs or small businesses. Uh, to be honest, they are all enterprises who are looking for the best bang for their buck. Right, because their contract runs into hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars and they want to make sure that they are getting a full value out of it. So first of all, let's look at the existing uh, user interface or user experience when we set up uh, Google Analytics. Uh, right? So first, we will see things like, uh, in order to set up, to insert text, you have to download a uh, plugin to insert into a header or footer itself. Right? Or if you have used um, themes, themes from uh, Theme Forest, where, like, for example, um, Flatsome theme itself, it itself also have um, the header script, footer script, you can insert the body script as well. Uh, or you can download other plugins to insert Google Tag Manager if you're a bit more advanced in doing implementation, right? But then again, this is on, you need to know what the other codes to put in, but then Google has three different types of codes, right? First, you will see things like for GA itself, Google Analytics, you have for GTM, and not only GTM, which is Google Tag Manager, you have GTAG as well, which is a new version of, uh, an alternative version of uh, GTM. Uh, honestly, personally, I do not know why they have both, but <laughs> um, it's Google's their core. Uh, it get a bit confusing for uh, laymen, actually, uh, or for new business owners. So what Google Site Kit does is that it's actually an answer to setting up Google products on WordPress. Uh, it's something that is run by Google, they came up by uh, they came up this plugin. They wanted to install key Google products on the website, on the WordPress website. So this is a full list that they have. Tag Manager, Analytics, Optimize. Optimize is basically uh, personalization. You can do A/B testing and do experiential targeting and stuff like that. AdSense is where you put your uh, ad units. Page Speed Insights is basically basic um, information about your server speed. Uh, search Console, like what Tommy has covered, which is where you can see your search data. Right, so why you use uh, SiteKit? Well, uh, first and foremost, it's actually a very simplified user interface. Uh, very simple user experience. You don't need to jump a lot of hoops. Everything is very seamless. It's by Google. That's the second point. It's by Google. There's no hard sell. You do not need to install any other plugins to who will come out with uh, no annoying uh, notification uh, banners to say, hey, we would like to pay for pro version for uh, X amount of dollars, right? This is by Google. They have full interest in making sure that their plugin works in a seamless manner so that it's not annoying to the end users. So, without further ado, I go straight into the demo because uh, after all, it's a lightning talk, right? So, to set up, I actually prepared a demo uh, site that is totally clean, fresh, right? Uh, nothing at all with only the site kit uh, plugin that installed. SiteKit itself can be installed directly from the uh, uh, plugin um, page itself because it's already in the WordPress repository. So what the first thing you do is that you just start a setup and it will launch into a page that you will sign in into Google and just give all the permissions that they want. After all, it's Google's product, Google's uh, permissions, their core. Um, you can slowly take a read through of what uh, permissions that they have. In fact, on their own website, they have uh, 
describe what were, uh, why they need some why why they need some of these uh, permissions. So, uh, in interest of time, I will not go to the website. And just um, verify site ownership. So, how to verify site, site ownership is that it will insert some verification token into Meta tag, and it will allow to additional stuff, and it will just set, set up the search console, and that's it. Right, so in a plain setup, in a very first setup, you will see things like data is not gathered, it's still gathering data, learn more about visitors doing other sites, uh, search console gathering data, right? So next thing you will set up will be analytics. So for analytics, you just connect with service. For, um, for this run through, it's totally fresh. So what I'm going to go is to do is just to create new um, GA properties for just for this uh, demo site. Will I be able to see the analytics? Yes. Data in the yes. Eventually you will because because this is a fresh install, so you won't see the data at all, right? But let me go to my own personal website. Uh, this is not. This is also another demo site. This is my own personal website. Personal website, uh, which I have neglected for a very long time. So you can see everything. You can see everything inside here. What's the way you're going to see things? It will be traffic, your, all your traffic itself, whether it's your direct traffic, organic traffic, or reference traffic. The source of the data is actually shown here. Let me just zoom in. It shows you that it's from Google Analytics. Right? So you can know that this is from the Google Analytics uh, data. For search keywords or impressions, search impressions is from Search Console itself. Right? This is essentially is a dashboard for you to see at one glance. How is your website uh, performing in terms of drawing people into uh, in, in, into your website through search through the search engine? Right? So, for example, my search I for for my this personal website he has uh, 15k, uh, 15,000 impressions with 92 clicks, uh, and there's 440 unique visitors uh, that's coming in. Right? You can set up additional goals as well which I didn't set up for this uh, website because uh, this, after all, is just where I rumble about or rant about stuff. You can also see things like top search query of your website, the keywords that you have, the clicks, the impressions, uh, what content that is drawing, uh, drawing people to your website. So for example, the top content is my homepage or switching versions on macOS. Yeah, I'm using Windows myself, but that works, right? You can search for individual page or post information as well. You just type in the, the title or the URL, and then you will see some as well. Uh, page speed will display here the, uh, yes, my server is old, so it's pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, so it's pretty slow, but on a fresh, on a totally fresh install, uh, But the PHP inside is based on the whole site or just the home page? Right? This is just only on the home page. Oh. Yeah, so on fresh install, it's very fast. So when you see things like, uh, you know, like uh, online people doing comparison of uh, WordPress install, how fast it goes and stuff like that, it's true, but on fresh install. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So when you set up on Google Analytics itself, right, let me just continue. When you set up Google Analytics, you just select your account. So one thing about I have a couple of accounts here because uh, some of it is my uh, uh, clients and the various works that I've done before. So for this, I'll just create a new property, set up a new profile, configure analytics. So you can have uh, analytics already available for you to right? Yes. And the data will immediately show up? The data will immediately show up. Yes, so if you are using different plugins that already have Google Analytics installed, you can, you can choose to do two things. Get rid of the plugin, fully rely on this, or what you can do is that um, you go to under settings, right? This when you, you will do for Google, for analytics, it will actually insert an additional snippet into your page. 
So when you open your website, it's going to fire um, to Google Analytics two times. One, your existing website, your existing plugin, second here. But what you can do is that you can instruct them not to set the second uh, snippet. So you only fire once. So if it's essentially you're drawing data only for your backend. Uh, actually, this, this is actually something like Google Tag Manager, right? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the thing about Google Tag Manager is where you can put in additional text and stuff like that, right? Uh, the thing is, for this, it's basically helping you to do the basic setup. You don't need to jump through the hoops of um, putting setting up the, the Google products. Yeah, you don't need. Yeah, you don't need to go into the page code to set up all this. Uh, insert all this crap anymore. So yeah. We set up register for the console, uh, AdSense, and 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 page. For AdSense, I'm not sure because I honestly my site is totally free. But for search console, they set up for you straight away. Seamless. You don't need so to install and, and if yeah. there's no property in the register. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So as long as the Google account that you sign in has already a search console profile that is for your website, it will attach straight away to that search console profile. You don't need to recreate. But it does create a new profile if you don't have one as well. Yes, it doesn't create if you don't ha if our Google account that you sign in doesn't have the search console profile for the website, it will create a new profile for you. Yeah. So um in essence, this is very fast to set up. This one right? is just load up. Let's say you, you link with Google Tag Manager, you just load the Google Tag Manager code, right? Yes. But you still need to do this. Yeah, so, go to Google Tag Manager and set it up yourself. Yeah, so what's next is that you need to start doing your own analysis of your website, your business goals, right? Identify what business goals you want off your website, identify what the users, what user interactions that you want to track in order to, 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 to answer the questions that you are meeting your business goals, right? Do the implementation, do your documentation because without documentation, I can trust me, after one month, you'll forget why you, you implement that in the first place. Then you wait for the data to come, do your analysis, and the whole process starts all over again, okay? How you do it, you can do it through Google Tag Manager, you can do it through a page code, whatever means that you think that is comfortable to you, right? Uh, in terms of resources and stuff like that, I do not have it offhand in this laptop, because this is my work laptop actually. <laughs> my resources, my research is all in my personal laptop, but there are some more websites that actually um, talk about how to do implementation for uh, GTM, how to do some basic uh, tracking and stuff like that. Uh, so that's my lightning talk. One more question. Uh. Yeah. So I use, uh, if, when I use this compared to uh, loading all the analytics code and let's say Google Search Console, mm. uh, Everything all I put inside the GTM, right? Mm, Compared mm, to mm. using this to build the code, which one is better? Uh, it's the same, it's just faster. It? Okay, it really depends on your set current setup. If your current setup is already is already optimized, right? Personally, I don't see a need for you to 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 to, re, to, to, to redo everything. Because they, they say Google Tag Manager, they look all the code all. Yes, the yes. Time, right? So, okay. so the reason why I say Google Tag Manager is this is not the same as Google Tag Manager because Google Tag Manager is basically to you, to, 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 a, to a web developer is to insert this onto the header, right? But what this does is emulating that developers work. And authenticating. And authenticating everything. It's just done for you straight away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? You still load your code, your tracking everything through here. But, but there's no comparison which one is faster or which one is slower. No. It's the same code. It's, 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 it's just the same code. It's just it making... Is, it's implemented like Google Tag Manager in a way. Uh, it's implementing... Is it, it, okay, essentially, it's implementing GTM for you on the website. And then you do whatever you want on, GT, on, on GTM. Okay. Yeah. Is in e-commerce already in the site key? Like it doesn't have the e-commerce. No. Okay, so if you want to track e-commerce uh, stuff, you would have to you have to go back to analytics dashboard do your own implementation uh, there are actually plugins that can uh, yes, exactly. yeah do do it for you this one might have gtm for wordpress options uh, there, there, are, there are a few website plugins that uh, integrate woocommerce uh, tracking directly when you, you use uh, that thing, uh, mm -hmm. 
Mm, yeah, you need to. You still need to do integration. Yeah, you still need to install the plugin first, because Flexum out of the box doesn't have. Tracking. Yeah, yeah. So this aside, uh, keep by Google is just installing your top done to your. Yes. Yes. Connects Search Console and Connects Analytics in like three clicks. Yeah. I can do That's it with other plugin as well. It's no problem. Right? I, I have Google Analytics. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So this what this is good if you want to have a one shot dashboard, right? A quick dashboard to look on your own website, right? Uh, of your search results or stuff like that. Personally, that's what I think it is. You can just use it for it, especially if you already have an existing website that's been running. If you have a new website, brand new website, and you want to skip all the trouble, the hassle of um, opening up the PHP codes, the HTML templates and stuff like that, this plugin will be useful. Yeah. Or if you're sick and tired of monster insights, <laughs> Hey, I'm, hey, I, I was trying to avoid their names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, I promise it's a short one. Uh, you have any uh, questions for me regarding how integration and stuff like that? If I just uh, download the same kit, everything will be handled from here. Uh, yes. Basically. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah. If any other questions, you can catch me uh, out later. Just, since you name dropped over there, <laughs> so you recommend this like, over something like Monster? For the free version. Because the free version is pretty much just do this as well. Yeah. And this is next to get it all integrated rather than CNAME and text records and your DNS. And then if you already have something uh, like a premium version of one of the other ones, them. and there's no penalty or you still have the data and everything. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. You, just, you just swap it over, turn the other one off, turn the new one on, connect it all. Yep. Okay. So, yes. Can you import historic data from just the WordPress stats? Historic data from WordPress stats? No. From Japan? No. From Japan, no. No. There are two different services. They do not have uh, interoperability. Uh, so uh, if you have historic data from Japan and you just started on using Google Analytics, I was, what I suggest is to run both concurrently, take a baseline comparison. So then in the future, when you look solely on GA, you will know where your uh, website data is uh, is at compared to the previous data that you have. Yeah. That's a very loaded question. Yes. <laughs> but so more than yeah. Than just yeah. They don't. They kind of compete against each other. So yeah. Japan is a different. It gives you different data. Yeah. Any other questions? No other questions, let's move on to Shan.